Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a demonstration to share with you. We are using this book called Ocean Currents and we found a project in here that we are going to be doing for our ocean main lesson block. So for this project you need fresh water and you need salt water and you can make your own salt water but we were at the beach recently and got some ocean water so we are going to be using ocean water for this experiment and of course you need two ice cubes of the same size. We're going to see which one melts faster whether it's in fresh water or salt water and for this project it also recommends some food coloring to put on top of the ice cube so that you can see better which one is melting faster and how the ice cube disperse in the water so we went ahead and we made um, some ice cubes that are fairly large and we did try to make them as even as possible by filling them up to the rim and you can see that it does expand because that's what happens when water turns to ice and next we are going to fill these two containers with the same amount of water all this water has been at room temperature for a few hours so it should be the same uh, temperature for both so i'm going to go ahead and put the fresh water in the left side so go ahead and put uh, an ice cube in each fresh? one sure. go ahead put it in there it's right. salt water. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I the fresh should. water. That was okay. salt water. What we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit, yeah. say three drops. Oh, that is super duper cool. So that is the fresh water. Look at that. And Look at that. Look at it. Like ink. That is the salt water. That Look is at really it. cool. Look at under it. Under it? Okay, so let's see that. So in here, that is the salt water, and it's just kind of resting on... Oh my goodness, check this out. That is so cool. No, oh just... my gosh, that is so neat. Wow. That's right, that's right. Oh, wow. And look under here. It's like so. Oh, we have to do this again. That is so cool. Okay, so you can see that the blue dye has completely dispersed. And over here with the salt water, you can see that the blue dye is resting on top of the salt water. You can see that that's completely clear. Let's take a look at the ice cube. So that ice cube looks fairly large. And this one still looks large, but you can tell that it is smaller. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. So you can see that it is quite a bit smaller now in comparison and it's only been less than five minutes. So it all happened so quickly that we didn't do a time lapse, but we're going to add some yellow dye to both of these so that we can continue to see the process because there's still stuff going on, but now that the blue is dispersed, it's hard to see. So I'm gonna put three, no, four, drops of yellow on each one. One, two, three, four. So that we can see what's going on. Because you can see here that the dye immediately sinks to the bottom. Do you know why? Oh, that's sinking too. Is this one sinking? Ooh, neat. Oh, I want to do it. That is so cool. I wonder why the yellow dye is sinking now. And it didn't before. But, but this that and the this blend one, and this is I did blend. You can really see that the cold is uh, sinking below. Yeah, but I, this is winning. That one's winning. Yeah, yeah this it, one's winning. Well, that this one is quite a bit smaller now, and this ice cube is still really big. Mm -hmm. Now I would wonder what would happen if we had. Uh, can we make? Um, ice cubes with salt water? I think so. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but This guy die already blended and made the green, but this guy died. I dead. know. Look how beautiful it is on top. But look how beautiful it is right there. Like, check that is really the cool. Bottom, and the Let's middle see. is green, and then blue, and then... Yeah. And that yellow... <laughs> That yellow's working its way through. Alright. Alright, so a few more minutes and you can see that the ice in the fresh water is really melting fast. And the one in the salt water, you can see that it's still quite large. Let's take a look underneath and we can try to see if, well, I guess that's hard to tell. That just kind of melted from all sides. 
Okay, so it's been a few more minutes and you can see that the ice cube in the fresh water has melted to almost nothing. And the one in the salt water, you can see that it's still quite a bit, uh, still intact. And you can see the little bubbles kind of coming up from underneath. So I have some guesses on what's going on, but I am going to let you guys uh, figure that out in the comment section below. And I'm going to let my kids and I uh, talk about it. I think part of this is just a really beautiful demonstration and part of it is just food for thought and just kind of stays with you. Demonstrations like this are really profound uh, educational tools. So you can see now in the fresh water that the ice cube is gone. There's a couple of bubbles up there that make it look like there's still ice in there, but it is all uh, melted. And of course, there's still some in here in the salt water. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget that you can see what we're doing on a daily basis by visiting me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine. All right, thanks for watching.